Do you guys still believe? Trust me, it's really powerful. Edge returned because some of us believed. CM Punk returned because some of us believed. Bray Wyatt returned because some of us believed. Ryback and Chuck a pack of hot flaming Cheetos because he believed. Triple H became the head of creative because Vince wanted to get his noodle wet. Okay, what I'm trying to say is... You better start believing again because Bo Dallas is returning to the WWE. I believe so. And all you have to do is believe! According to Brian Alvarez, Bo Dallas is expected back in the company very soon. I can't say that I was a huge fan of Bo Dallas, but honestly, I'm pretty excited. He was released on April 15, 2021, and his last match was actually at Crown Jewel in the Tag Team Turmoil match. My man was in the company and wasn't being used for two years. And this is pretty sus because Bo Dallas is Bray Wyatt's brother. Hmm, what does that mean? Is he one of the puppets? Bo Dallas never quite reached the success like his brother Bray Wyatt, but he was involved in some pretty entertaining stuff. He had a decent run as the NXT champion. It really depends on how you feel about it because I remember so many people being critical of this. And I get where people are coming from, he never really looked believable as a world champion. When he joined the main roster, he had the Bo Leave gimmick. He was running around the ring and got people inspired. You're feeling sad and it feels like everything is falling apart? All you gotta do is Bo Leave. You can only get it to being half chubbed. Believe. Then he was a part of Social Outcast along with Heat Slayer, Curtis Axel and Adam Rose. Yeah, it was a jobber faction with a decent theme song. Like the theme song was way too good for this one. This was obviously a failed experiment, it didn't work out. At first it kinda seemed like they're going to get a push. It seemed like, okay, we're these guys who keep losing, but now it's going to be different. It wasn't. They didn't believe enough. But one decent thing came out of it. The B team. I didn't necessarily love this tag team, but at the time they were actually pretty beneficial. And that actually happened once we got the Miz Taraj. So these two were basically Miz's lackeys. Which I know sounds like a bad position, but we're talking about Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel, two of the most buried WWE superstars of all time. By being Miz's lackeys, they got a lot of TV time and eventually won the WWE Tag Team Championships at Extreme Rules by defeating Bray Wyatt and Matt Hart. Party. So it wasn't really that bad at the end of the day, they became the tag team champions. But that was the highlight of his career, we barely saw Bo Dallas again, they tried to give him a push again but gave up in like a couple of weeks, he was involved in some 24-7 championship extravaganza and then got released. So it makes me wonder, why is he returning to the WWE? He's not one of the names that people were asking for, I haven't seen a single person who was like, okay Triple H. I'm seeing Bray Wyatt, I'm seeing Karrion Cross. where the hell is Bo Dallas? I think it does have to do something with Bray Wyatt. He's behind the mask, I think he's the rambling rabbit. I could be totally wrong right here though. We might even find out on Raw tomorrow. I don't know, but I'm really excited because the thing is, he was never actually on television acknowledged as Bray Wyatt's brother. He was just Bo Dallas not related to Bray Wyatt at all, and even when they faced each other in a tag team match, it was never acknowledged. Maybe about Dallas' sister Abigail. Well, he's not, because like I've said, they never acknowledged it. Sister Abigail is this bit. So let me know in the comments below, are you excited about Bo Dallas returning to the WWE? If it's true, of course. But I believe it. I mean, at the end of the day, whatever gimmick he was given, he made it work. Obviously, he was limited because he doesn't have the look of Roman Reigns, but he was a pretty decent comedy character, in my opinion. Thank you for watching the video, The Great One. Peace, love, and hugs. It's been a pleasure.